Okay, so we are doing Super Metroid now in our series of non-professional speed runs. <laughs> slightly better than average continuous playthroughs. Yeah. Actually, it's more than slightly better. It's a let's play. It's a quick let's play. Yeah. Or as my Mega Man X video... Is this you right now doing this? No, this is the auto demo oh. thing. Well, you can go ahead and get it going. You want me to... Oh. <laughs> We're off to a, a great start. I hate the Wii U controller. Yes. Okay. So That's go for the, it. Okay, let's do it. All right. Oh, you did it in 122 last time, so you should be even faster Well, but this that's time. game time, and that doesn't oh. count screen transitions, like when you're going through doorways, or oh. when you pause. So it was like probably or six hours. Any time that you're not in control of the character. The timer in Super Metroid is really weird. The last Metroid is in captivity. I never heard this before. The galaxy, the galaxy is, at, is peace. at peace. That's weird. That was cutting edge when they did this. They never put voices in before. Well, Spoiler alert, Metroid I don't know how anybody didn't Debbie. know this. That's a girl in that helmet. Well, in the original manual for the original Metroid, it said yes. man. I know. Is that he or something like that? We're gender friendly. Gender neutral. <laughs> gender inclusive. Look how black and white that is. Yeah. So old. It's like it was it's before color was invented. Back in the monochrome That's days true. of the 80s. People don't know that, but color didn't actually exist until it was on TVs. That's true. Wizard of Oz invented color. Yeah, in the middle of the movie, too, which is really impressive. Yeah. Nobody knows that either. This is just like, <laughs> what the? I didn't even push a button. <laughs> the game's trolling us. I didn't do anything. Like, that's supposed to be right trigger that does that, I think. And look, my fingers are like, here. That's in that's inaccurate. You should ride roll the whole way through. You cannot ride you can ride roll through Mega Man, but not Oh, look at those hips. That's what gives her away. Samus is pretty cute too. She is. How does Metroid crawl? The scientists kind of This is like astounding. the slowest. They intro. were astounding! Have you ever watched the Final Fantasy Tactics intro? No, I haven't. It's so much Oh my god! <laughs> This is one thing where it says little money and it spaces out the letters. There's like two spaces between each letter and it takes like 15 minutes to show up. It's fantastic. This doesn't count as speed run time, does it? No, this, this run starts when you get in control of somebody's... And this time isn't included in that 122 we saw from last time, right? Ah, uh, no, no. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this takes a while. Like, when I was a kid, I used to think her name was Seamus. I've heard people call it Samus or Samus. It's the moose. Samus. In Canada, they call her Samus. Yeah. And there's an umlaut over the U. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's. That is accurate. That's not accurate. Samus. Are we here? are we doing it now? Yes. This is game. Oh, it's so exciting. A game that I played as a kid and couldn't get past like a quarter of the way through because I had no idea how complex it was. I haven't. Disclaimer, I haven't played this in a very long time. At least six months. And this controller is so weird. I'll give you the first stage to get used to it, and then then you're on... Uh, There's no such thing as stages. You, first area, once you escape. So, okay, once so... Once you escape. Speed tactic in Super Metroid, if you want to go super quick, um, is called arm pumping. If you hit L or R, you angle your gun up or down, up or down. And if you tap those buttons while you're moving, every time you tap it, you advance forward one pixel on the screen. So you move slightly faster if you jam on buttons. So what you're saying is that's something that you're not going to do, but one could do. One, I mean, I'll want. do it whenever I think about it, but it won't make a difference, really. <laughs> Pixel advancement's really important in speedruns. I mean, when you're going for a world record, like, this game is like... This is actually the game that got me into, like, the idea of speedrunning. In like 2004, I was three minutes off the world record on this game. That's not bad at all. Well, that's because the speed, the world record was like 55 minutes for 100 percent, and now it's like 42. Well, it's a girthy game. It is. It's got girth. It's got a thickness to There's it. There's a whole lot to it, so you have to be consistently exceptional in, in order to be able to do speed runs. Yeah, but this is the game that like taught me what a speed run was. Like, it just, like opened my eyes to the world of speed running. Like it was. Her name was like Red Agrius or Scarlet Agrius or Red Scarlet. Something red and then like a character from FF Tactics. 
And uh, her videos were like recorded off VHS tapes. And it blew, because I was like, I've never, I'd never seen anything like it before. So it was like this game that I thought I knew that I'd beaten like several times as a kid. And she was like ripping it wide open and doing the game totally differently than I'd ever seen. And it blew my mind. Yeah, I find it interesting. Like, I, I don't do speed runs of any variety, but I like to watch people execute at a high level. Well, like back then, like, the, like it wasn't a thing. Like, you know, there wasn't like Oh a, my gosh. Like an AGDQ and an S. Like, there weren't marathons of this stuff. Right. Like, there weren't websites dedicated to this, really, other than Speed Demos Archive. It was just, like, Metroid and Quake were, like, the games people ran, really. And it it was nuts. Hey, this controller is so hard to hold. There's a power-up all the way in the top left corner of that main screen. That is true. I remember that. Good job. I could be doing this, actually, right now. Maybe I should just hand you the no, controller. No, that'd be bad. I don't even know how to do anything. I know how to arm pump now. You do? You said if I press L and R, I'll pixel jump. We should just buy, uh, I'm just inventing terms while we go. We should just get a classic controller for the Wii U. We really we should. should, but they cost this way thing is too much. So, it's so hard to hit R and L and any other button combination when you're playing on this thing. Oh my god! That almost sounded like you are going to go into an Arnold accent. Ah! Uh, <laughs> go, go on the elevator. How much do those controllers cost? Like 40 bucks? Uh, I think they're 30. That's still... That's Let's get a GoFundMe going. 30 bucks for a controller so we can play Let's Plays adequately. If only uh, they knew somebody that worked at or near, perhaps, the store that sells those. What difference does that make? We get discounts. Yeah, 10%. Thick discounts. You can take that 10% and put it somewhere. In the bank. You're not arm pumping. I'm trying! It's really hard with this controller to hit L and R. I have a feeling that the pixel advancement's not going to make that much of a difference on this run. I mean, no. But if I was good at the game, it would. So, so now we got Morph Ball and Missiles. So morph Ball lets you morph into a ball. Missiles lets you shoot missiles. It's pretty self-explanatory. Explanatory? Explanatory? What's the word? Explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ex Explorma! We're not gonna finish this run in a good time at all. This is gonna be like a three hour speed run. So, what'd you say the fastest time was, roughly? Uh, for 100%, yeah. I don't know anymore. It's like something around 40 minutes. So, 40 minutes, and we should clock in at around, Double I'm time. estimating, 110. Well, but that's game an time. Hour so, 10. 40 minutes of game time is like an hour 10. Or not an hour 10, like an hour ish of real time. Maybe. I don't know, actually. I don't know what the conversion is. Well, our game time last time was 122. And I think you can do better because that was... You haven't played the game in forever at that point. And, and you I was haven't played it on this. Vodka drunk. And you had a little bit of inebriation going on. So this should be at least 20% faster. 20, that's... Oh my god. This controller... Maybe 10%. It's so much easier with Mega Man. Yeah. Like, his wall jumping is one button. Maybe just don't wall jump. Uh, what do I look like? A do noob? I look like a compromiser? You look Some like... Some guy who compromises? You look like a nub. That's rude. You're being rude. Shoot the Metroids. Those are Metroids. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I do not know. I don't. I know what a Metroid is. Metroid's the lady in the suit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Where? Oh god, select is in a really weird spot on the thing. I should have remapped that to a different button. Okay, so this is the first boss. His name is Terizo. Like Terizo. But less, less saucy spicy. and more murdery. I'm just glad they put Metroid and Zelda in Smash Brothers. Yeah. I really like... Like, I don't know. I, w I wish Zelda was just better with his sword. Yeah. <clears throat> so, with this boss, if you stand on its foot, it jumps it jumps backwards like that and then it shoots out these little balls and you can shoot him and get missiles and then pause the game and then switch to the missiles and then shoot him with your missiles and then just keep repeating it over and over and then the boss dies nope boss doesn't die it died i did it i'm the best that's a good tip it's worth noting this game's significantly harder than mega man x because bosses don't have health meters, and the game is a lot more open rather than stage-like. So for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's a completely yeah. different experience. It's one giant maze instead of a bunch of stages. So this trick is called the Alcatraz Escape. Uh, 
it's slightly faster than doing it the right way. You more fall in midair instead of more falling up the path and then making bombs. Because now I can lay bombs, but we're not gonna do that too much. Because that's what's that's what's up. And I know what's. Energy tanks, every time you get one, it adds a hundred health. That's cool. Are you gonna do any saving? Or are you not gonna do saving? Uh, I'm something. gonna save, because if I don't, it could go real bad. And speedrun people generally avoid the saving, right? Yeah. Back in my day, like back in like 2004, 2005, speedruns were all segmented, where you'd, like, you'd save like two or three times throughout the run. Um, nowadays, though, it's all about single set. Like, everyone just does single segment right. runs, where you go start to finish. And if you mess up at any point, you just reset. Um, I'm not that hardcore, though. I think, as far as official speedruns go, it shouldn't be segmented. It should be one playthrough, you do what you can do, and that's that. None of this saving and having checkpoints and crap. I don't like that. I agree. Alright, so here we're doing a mock ball. And this is kind of the trick that opens up the whole rest of the game. Uh, yeah, whoop, go up. Go up. Basically, a mock ball means that you are in morph ball, but you are going whatever speed you were going when you jumped. So in that last room, I got a running jump when I entered this room. And then while you're in the air, you tap down once. And then right as you land, you kind of do like a Hadouken motion. And you end up like conserving your momentum instead of bouncing. And it lets you get under those gates that were falling down and get in this room early. Normally you need the speed booster from considerably later in the game. So what that did... It let us get super missiles way early, which lets us skip a mini boss that we'll never have to fight. Now, do you think, say, from your spawn. from your experience, is that mock ball technique meant to happen in the game, or or did that no. just is it an exploit that people decided that would work? So that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like known at all. Like, it wasn't in the official strategy guide. I don't think it's intended at all. I already looked. <laughs> What's so good? Full Fuller House. Oh. Fuller House, I have to say, is not so good. It's like our childhood mixed with sadness. I'm excited for when, <laughs> when Uncle Joey and uh, Alanis Morissette get back together. Okay, so here's the thing. I did watch the first episode just out of curiosity, and I have to say, half the people look really good, and half the people look like they may have died at some point between the last uh, last series and now. Especially, what's the main guy's name? Bob Saget. He uh, his name. He looks really bad. He looks like he's got some kind of goiter on his neck and. Oh god. I don't know, it just doesn't look good. Whereas the daughters and, uh, what's the aunt, aunt the aunt, uh, whatever, Jesse's wife, they're looking fit. So I can see why people want to watch this show. you had Jesse's girl? Uh, yeah, I could go for that. <laughs> good. I could go for that. But let's not talk about Fuller House anymore, because that's, uh, not good. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> That's the move from Smash Brothers. There is a charge beam in Smash Bros. You're right. Well said, Nicholas. I'm glad you brought that up. Samus is a character hey, there was a in missile another over Nintendo there. game. We'll get it later. Don't you worry. Oh, I'm not. You're worried. I'm worried a little bit. You're concerned. I want you to break records is all. <laughs> we'll break some kind of record. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that means. Or what kind of record it will be. Wouldn't that be something, though? My cat's watching. That is awesome. Shoot the gate, shoot the... Open the gate with the gun. I wanted to. Those, for people that don't know, are actually the uh, Cybermen from Dragon Ball Z. It's the same character design. It is. This game was designed by Akira Toriyama and programmed by him in one day. <laughs> Fun fact. That's absolutely 100% true, but don't Google it. No. No, no none, of, none of that is true. They just kind of had the same aesthetic as the Cybermen. I appreciate this game so much for being one continuous world. Yeah, it's basically like... It's almost like a side-scrolling Zelda in that way. I was just thinking that. 
I was just thinking that. Neither of which have I played this or Zelda from the <laughs> SNES. Link to the Past is a great I'm game. I'm familiar with them. I've watched them be played. I've just never... Well, I've played this a little, but that was it. I haven't played Link to the Past since I was a kid. A lot of people say that's the best Zelda game. It's my favorite Zelda. See... Uh, but I don't really like any of the Zeldas that much. Like, I loved Ocarina when I was little. But, well, I mean, like, eight, nine, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But I, every time I try to replay, I'm like, this game is so slow. It is really slow. Like, I, I played it a lot when I was a kid, and I don't know if I could play through it again. Like, I loved it, but I don't know. Until my brother, he's a game shark, and corrupted my save file, and I had to stop because I wasn't going to play through the whole thing again, even though it was at the very end. It only happened once. Yeah, it only <laughs> happened once because I quit playing it. You ruined my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> you got all kinds of bonuses out of it. You could have just kept going. Yeah, bonuses that prevented me from progressing through the game. I don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You what ruined happened? me. I don't know. He did I'm something with the game. Here, like... Just play it safe. Do whatever you want to do. You're I'm gonna expert. I'm gonna farm some health too, because if I miss the qu the quade, the crate quick kill. I could die. I could die right here. I can't switch weapons because this controller is weird. Okay. That was supposed to give me a lot more super missiles than it did. We're gonna revisit that. Do the rooms refill, repopulate? Yes. That's convenient. There you there go. There we are. That's... That had a lot more. A lot it more did... gusto. Normally, you're not supposed to be in critical health, so it'll drop a lot more on the first try. I'm just gonna fill my stuff up, because... I'm way out of practice, and as embarrassing as this is, death would be even more embarrassing. Alright, but by the time we get to the end, you're gonna look smooth like a smushed banana. Like a baby made of silk. That's right. It's a callback to our Mega Man X video, which if you guys haven't seen, you might want to check out the Mega Man X playthrough. It's particularly enjoyable. My screen name when I was a kid was Silk Butter. <laughs> silk Butter, that's a good one. Oh my god! The are, stupid eye door just ate all my super missiles. Okay. Are you gonna die to the eye door? No. I gotta go get more super. Uh, this is this isn't how it was supposed to be. It'll get progressively better. Will it? It should. This controller is so fat. According to Rick from The Walking Dead, the rule of averages says it's that like holding you'll get a what you dog. Want. That <laughs> controller is very much shaped like a dog. I'd like to. So, okay, I notice how laggy this is, right? Like, it's real laggy. If you go into Morph Ball, it smooths out, like, standing up, Morph Ball. So I'm gonna try to do the quick kill, and I'm probably gonna miss it. What's the quick kill? Oh, I got it, but then I... Oh. If you shoot him when his, like, hands are in a certain position, and he's in a certain animation frame, his mouth stays open longer, so you can shoot a bunch of super missiles into his mouth and kill him before he gets big like this, like, before he stands up. He'll just die, and the screen won't scroll. And I actually got it, but I didn't think I got it. See, he only had one missile left. Like, I could have killed him oh. before he stood. So the screen would have been locked like this. And when I ran over here, it wouldn't have scrolled, and you wouldn't have seen me go in this door, and it would have been awesome. But instead, I just looked like a buster. So what you, you're saying is you activated it, but then failed to complete it. Yeah, because I didn't expect to, so I didn't time my missile shots right. That's how I do Halo a lot. I think I killed a guy, but then I didn't. It I like psych out. myself out. It, it's, it's really happens. rough. I'm my own worst enemy. It's okay. It, it's still a way better playthrough than like most normal people. Like that jump right there. Those nobody nobody would boosts. do that. Yeah. I think we talked about that in Mega Man X too, but in this game they're much more pronounced. Um, yeah. Basically, if you hit an enemy, you like get shot backwards. So if you face the direction you actually want to go, or face away from the direction you want to go, oh my god, and then get hit, and then right after you get hit, hold the direction you actually want to go. So like Samus is back, you go flying in the the direction you actually wanted to go, and uh, you go faster. That was a bad description, but I. It makes sense. If you pause it and watch it a few times, you'll you'll understand. So those things have to like suck onto you to kill them efficiently. They drain your health, they're like little leeches. 
How much of this do you is. have to remember as you see it, or do you just automatically have it in there? And you, I could you don't have to really... write a walkthrough for this game without looking at it. <laughs> like a 100% walkthrough. Like, I could tell you screen by screen what you need to do. So are you more about Samus, or more about Super Metroid than you are at Mega Man X? Yeah. I've never really tried to speedrun Mega Man X seriously, whereas like this, I mean it's been years, but like back in like 2004, 2005, I dedicated like two months of my life to just playing this game over and over. <laughs> that and the, seems like a good use of time, though. It was solid. Like, <laughs> I did that, and I uh, I got the super suit in Mario RPG. I learned how to speedrun Metroid Prime. Oh, man, I messed that up. Shh. What is it? So, okay, so, if you noticed... Crap, hold on. This door right here was like a steel door, which means it was like beige-ish. And that means you have to kill all the enemies in the room or do something story related to make it open. And uh, you have to kill that little that little lava crawler guy. And normally what you want to do is jump over the energy tank or grab the energy tank and then shoot that guy real quick and then open the door so you don't need to wait for him later. It's just a small time save, but I didn't do it right. So instead, I did something slower than either option. <laughs> and I compromised halfway. And I jumped down, chased him, killed him, Wall jumped back up, shot the door, went back down, and then got the super missile. So, you basically we'll, made it way worse than you needed to. Yeah. We'll be coming back to that energy tank later. Is there a reason you don't want to pick it up now? Yeah, because when you pick up an energy tank, it fully heals you. Uh, and, uh, I will need a full heal when I come back. The newest, like, 100% route through this game, like, for an actual speedrun of it, doesn't do this anymore. But this is the last run I ever learned from like 2010. So that's what we're gonna be doing. That would be embarrassing. Totally, totally embarrassing so to embarrassing. not remember something from 20 years ago. So embarrassing to not remember which lava pit has the hidden missile in it in Norfair. Everyone would be like, yo, that's the guy who didn't know which lava pit had the missile. I'd never be able to go in public again. It's true, although you're almost completely anonymous right now, so I think you're probably okay. My name is Esteban. <laughs> Remember how hard this game was for me when I got it and I was like eight years old? I had no idea what I was doing. Dude, this game, my first clear of this game when I was like seven or eight, uh, my playtime was 10 hours, and my item completion correct, like collected was like 60% or something like that. And I'm pretty sure I had the strategy guide by the end. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill up. It's again. a rough game. I mean, there's so much going on. Yeah. I and mean, they didn't hold your hand back in the day. You had to figure it all out on your own. Unless you had the guide. Arm uh, pump. Arm uh, pump. I'm advancing so many pixels right now. I wonder if somebody that does that consistently throughout the entire playthrough, how much it actually saves. I've heard like six or seven seconds. That's a lot, considering it's only a pixel at a time. Right, right. They also do it like way faster than I do. So now we have the speed booster, and this is really when the game gets fun. For me, it's the shine spark. That's when it's really well. Fun. That's what this enables the shine spark. Oh, okay. Well, see, I knew a little bit, kinda. You know that you know a term. Oh Jesus! So this is speed booster, and this has all kinds of funky properties with it, um, and it lets you do all kinds of really cool stuff, like both intended cool stuff and totally unintended cool stuff. So there's another little damage boosty for all you people out there. Like damage boost fans. Taking shots every time you get a damage boost. So at this point the game is like we're doing things very out of order by now. Ooh, I'm not supposed to. Out of it. order for a speedrun or out of order for the regular campaign? For the regular game. I mean that really started when we got the super missile way back. Like that that's when the, the sequence breaking, which is as the name right. sort of implies where you do things out of order. That's where it really started, but, like, by now, things are so funky, and they're never really gonna get back. Like, we're doing the bosses in the right order, but as far as upgrades and stuff goes, it's it's very... Okay, so if you're playing wonky. through normally, not 
going out of order like you just said does it matter what order you go in other than you're limited by what abilities you have what do you mean like which bosses you fight yeah i mean like or... is it does it guide you guide at you. all yeah 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 it, like because there's like when you're going through an area the first time you like you'll see all kinds of things but you can't really get to them or like access them okay intentionally like there's things that'll be slightly out of your reach or like things behind a door you can't open so you'll see it and you'll like you know need to make a mental note like hey don't forget come back here later right which ends up being like 50 things right right so many things by the end oh jeez so going out of order makes it considerably easier in terms of 100% completion yeah yeah because there's a lot less backtracking like the Metroid games are infamous for how much backtracking is involved and that's why speedrunning them is really like the more fun way to play them in my opinion because it eliminates a lot of that like even if you don't speedrun it competitively just learning the little speed tricks and stuff like that eliminates a lot of that repetition um in this game it's not super bad but in metroid prime the first 3d one i hated that game because yeah. of how much backtracking was in it until yeah. i learned how to speedrun it and then all of a sudden it was it's like one of my favorite games of all time but only because you can speedrun it, and only because the speedrun eliminates a ton of that back. See, that's what killed me on that game. Is I played through almost all of it. I'm like, I'm, I got sick of the speed or speed running. I got sick of the backtracking, so I stopped playing it. Yeah, a lot of people do, and it, it's totally understandable because it's infuriating. This is Croco Meyer. When I was a kid, I had no idea how you were supposed to fight this boss because you can shoot him as many times as you want, and he won't die. So he just keeps walking forward if you don't do it fast enough, is that what it is? Yeah. You need to keep pushing him back into the... Into the lava, or the acid, the, as technically uh, is called. Could be acid, it is yellowish. Definitely more acid than, than lava. And it'll always be lava to me. This isn't uh, probably the best boss for a speedrun, it looks like. If you come... I could have done a different route where you come back here with Plasma, which is like the strongest gun in the game. And you don't even need to wait for his mouth to open, you can just shoot him constantly and it hurts him. So now he's dying, he's melting back there, we don't have to care. Okay, so here's a question for you, why not uh, come back with the plasma, why are you doing it this way? Ooh, crap, hold on. Um, just this is the route that I remember most okay. recently. The plasma route's a little bit slower, unless there's a new one that I'm not aware of, which is very possible, but... Um, it's cool, like, the plasma route is cool just because, like, you get to just punk this boss in a really cool way, but... It sounds like fun just to push him back without having, without having to aim or try or put any effort into it at all. Right, right, it's neat, like, you just shoot, like, your regular gun like this, and he just walks backwards to his death. Oh, I messed that up. Um, so with a speed booster, like... Basically, your goal is to make yourself get the little blue echoes behind you because that lets you hit down, which then charges the shine spark that you were talking about, which is that little dash I just did. And uh, that's not actually based on distance you travel. It's based on how long the game thinks you're holding the run button down. And it only checks that on certain frames. And it's basically like right when Samus's front, like, four screen foot touches the ground. So you can get that blue charge in much less area by only tapping run when her foot touches the ground and then letting go of it. So that's called a short charge and it lets you charge up a shine spark in a shorter area, which seems not that useful, but is actually useful in a whole bunch of places. I don't even know how people figure this stuff out unless they're going into the code years later. I don't know. I wonder when they figured it out, like back when people weren't going into codes and looking for things, or if that's when they did it, way later. Because that's way technical. Yeah, I don't know. It's super interesting to me, how people figure this stuff out. I wish I had an answer for you, but it was dumb. Oh well. Oh well. I'm not going to do this with this controller. So you said the other day, power-ups, each one was a percentage for the completion. I'm fairly sure, yeah, that's how it works. But that counts like just missile containers or whatever they're called and things like that, right? Not yeah, 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 it's every like individual, like, every time the game goes That counts. I'm not sure I've heard it make that noise. What's made that noise?
Well, that was a shine spark. It you seems... can do it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And you're gonna need that for a lot of the a lot of the items, right? Um, it's not often that you need it really. It just always makes stuff faster. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So is this run that you're doing one of the fastest ways to get that? Because it seems like that would be probably the best way to get around the map. Most runs get the speed boost at roughly the same time, okay. actually. Oh, God bless him. Ooh. Were you supposed to do a shine spark over all of that? I was gonna. That was my intent. But it didn't work out that way. Life often doesn't work out the way you expect it to. But it's all about learning to roll with the punches, you know? Then you end up making YouTube videos for a living. <laughs> Oops. There's an invisible ceiling right there, and sometimes you hit it, and then you just fall back down, and all your Shine Spark did was damage you and waste time. Is there any way to control whether or not it stops you? Uh, the invisible ceiling is kind of far to, like, to the left, so if you're over to the right far enough, it won't happen. I'm just gonna fill myself up a little bit, just for safety. Normally, like, in a, in a real run, or, like, even, like, me doing a real run, which is kind of a fake run, um, you wouldn't be refilling nearly this often. Okay. I really hope I don't like to forget a power up. I know. I was, That'll I was, be <laughs> wicked embarrassing. I was just gonna ask you, what are the odds that you remember all 100 things? Last time I did a run of this, you got them. Yeah, and I mean it had been longer probably since the last time I played it then. So we'll see. Well, if if it turns out that you don't get them all, then this video won't ever exist outside hey, of us recording it right now. That's true. Or maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see. So now we get that energy tank to heal ourselves. If it's like a 75%, we'll probably it, just delete the video. It probably won't be a 75%. <laughs> It'd be something closer to like a 99 or a 98. That would be even more depressing, I think. To know that you have only missed that one tiny bit and there's nothing you can do about it. Those monsters are based on the xenomorphs from the movie Alien. That's actually a true story. A the, lot of Samus is based on the Alien franchise. I mean, Metroid itself is. Yeah. Like, it's That's a my single, I said Samus. like, awesome space marine chick against a bunch of aliens, like, isolated on a planet. Who also get pregnant and then make babies of the aliens out of their human bodies. That's not what happens in Metroid. It's a lot like what happens in Metroid. I mean, she sort of adopts one, I guess. I thought they did cloning and stuff, and in turn it had a story in, like, uh, Fusion. That she they took the DNA from her body and made a new Metroid or something like that. Uh, the Sax Fire? I don't really remember Metroid Fusion. I don't know. Yeah, it was uh, on uh, Did You Know Gaming, and... So I don't know anymore. Ignore I brought it up. So back there, in the like lava filled room, yes. I froze those little green platforms in place so I could get enough speed to uh actually to right dodge here. that barrier that was coming down. Yeah, to start a mock ball. Pretty tight. Pretty tight of me. I'm the illest. So we're like ninety five percent done right now. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, we're really close. We're we're at the cusp of completion here. No, we're at like 25, 20% maybe. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea percentage-wise. Uh, I'm just going on bosses. It seems like uh, there should be about four times as many as we've already seen. There are a total of five bosses. In the which game. which means how many have we fought? One. And like one mini boss. Well, then I'm You're right. right. You're I'm absolutely right. right. You are technically correct. I'm telling you, for somebody who never played the game to completion, I know a lot about it. Which isn't really saying much at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know next to nothing, but I didn't beat it. 
used it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this happen. What is it you're trying to do right I now? Am, I don't need to do this, but... Like, right underneath that spike, there's a spot where you can jump. Like, well, yeah, like that. Ah. Uh. And really, I have grapple beam, so I don't need to do any of this. I could just do it the way you're supposed to do it. But where's the fun in that, you know? There isn't any. There's no fun in it. There is zero fun. If you're not doing it the wrong way, you're not doing it right. That's a good saying. That is. I could have actually come back here much, much later in the game and done this when I had way more health to spare. Now that I think about it, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. That's okay. Doesn't matter. See, things we'll like this, what you just did, going up and around like that, it seems to me like it'd be very difficult for someone to figure out without knowing that it already exists. Well, I mean, back in the day, you know, like, there weren't that many video games, so when you got one, you just kind of messed around with it for a long time. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of why, like, these old, like, trial and error type games thrived, and nowadays don't, because kids have too many things to... Like, there's too many things competing for your time. Yeah, and they have no attention span. Right. Like, I have to figure this out? Forget that. Right. I'll Google it. Or watch YouTube's... Videos YouTube's. like this! Yeah. We're helping ruin so society I guess right what now. we're saying is we're so thankful for them and also hate them. They're a great people. Watch out for the bugs. Freeze that one, jump on it. I thought was in the wrong place. That's gonna be a problem. There it is. Yep. Boop. There it is. So how much have you adjusted to the controller pad thing? Is it still it's a total really pain just, in the it's ass? Just, it's just, there's never going to be a time it's not a pain in the ass. Because it's so awkward. Like, it's so fat, and the buttons are so weirdly spaced. Yeah, I don't like it just looking at it. Oh, I need that. Hold on. 